Hey everybody, this is Larelia. Today I want to talk to you about um, your struggles with your credit. And what do I mean by that? You know, normally when a person has struggles with their credit, it always has to do with their relationship with money. What do I mean by that? If you are a person that believes that money is scarce, that money is hard to come by, that if you only get a certain amount of money and you spend it um, and, 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 and you truly believe that you will never get more of it, has a, has a lot to say um, about your relationship with money. Now, by no, by no means am I trying to say that you should just ball out and, and just spend, 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 spend. But some people have a very scarce and limited, um, uh, uh, should I say, um, relationship when it comes with money. Many people truly believe that money is a scarce source. And what do I mean by that? They really do believe that there is a limited supply and that only a certain amount of people are going to get access to it. And then there's a certain amount of people who are not going to get access to it. Now, this is what I do know. If you don't know the rules, and there are rules on how you will gain access to money, I totally believe that if you do not know those rules, you will have limited access to money. You will. And there are rules. And unfortunately, many people are not willing to learn the rules. They are not willing to learn the rules on how they can get more money to them without um, them thinking that, you know, money is a, a scarce or um, or limited source. Now, what does this have to do about with, with credit? Many people will deal with having bad credit even when the resources are out there many of times i've did video many of videos and said that there are free resources and then a lot of times there may be low cost resources but there are resources out there that can help you to rebuild your credit but going back to the conversation of money if i am a person who feels that money is a limited supply, that I don't understand the rules of money, I don't understand the language of money, I don't understand how to access money or to be able to get um, more of it, then I'm going to feel the same way about my credit. I am going to feel like that there are only a limited amount of people who are going to have access to the information on how to rebuild their credit. I'm, I'm going to feel like that there's always going to be the pool of people who are going to be part of the low 500 credit score community. I talked about that in the video. And then there's going to be those group of people who are going to have the flourishing credit scores of, of 700 plus. Once again, it's my conversation of money. If I feel like money is a limited supply, then I'm also going to feel like that there is no hope with my credit. And that's why there are so many people. You can give them all the resources. And I just had this conversation with a lady that I know that runs a nonprofit. And the nonprofit is a, a free nonprofit for low-income individuals, the 500 credit score community individuals, helping them to rebuild their credit because I am a consultant there, rebuild their credit, manage debt, manage credit, learn how to budget, along with how to buy a home. On top of that, they're going to give you matching money uh, to help you buy the home because as you're in this uh, this um, program they're going to show you how you can save your own money and then they're going to match it the one question that she had said to me was that Larelia what I don't understand is that people can have all the resources right in front of them and they can sit through the class for you know they'll sit through the class they'll go through the counseling they, they'll get everything up and remind you there's no cost but then they'll still not do anything. Because even though they're getting all the, res the free resources, 
the person still has to do the work. Like, it's not no, okay, you get it all for free and you just sit back like this and, and people, you know, the per- person's going to do your work. Like, they're not going to do the budgeting for you. They're not going to, you know, take your money and, and make sure you save it. They're not going to make sure that you are managing that money. They're not going to make sure you're clearing out your debt. They're not going to make sure that you're rebuilding your credit. They're going to give you the tools. And with those tools, you're supposed to be able to implement those tools. And I said to her was the reason why people don't take advantage of it is because the relationship that they have with finances in general. So it does, it's never the resources. See, a lot of people will say, well, Lori, the reason why my credit is bad is, is, is because I don't have access to the information. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not it. Because the information is out there. It's the relationship with money. See, see, what people don't understand is your relationship with money, your relationship with credit all has to do with your relationship of self. And what do I mean by that? Self-help is the hardest thing for a person to do. That is the reason why, like I've said in many of videos, many people, there's a group of people who will watch my videos they will implement the strategies that um that I suggest, boom, and they'll go and they they'll make they'll make a change. And then there's 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 the group of people who will just sit there. They'll see the videos are there, but they won't do anything. And a lot of times that has to do with the conversation and relationship that they have with finances and whole. The, the the relationship that they have with money and, and, it, and it ties into all all other things the relationship that they have with credit so the point of the video that I'm making is is that your relationship with yourself how you view the world how you view money how you view credit is going to have everything to do with you moving on and and to rebuild your credit like I said, self-help is the hardest thing to do. And, and and by no means, like I tell people, I'm not going to sit here and say my resources are, are the best and the only resources that people will use. No, but I will say that my resources can help you to, to, to get some results. Because I always say there's a hundred ways to skin a cat. My way is just one. But there's another person who has another strategy. There's another person who has another strategy. And that's why I tell people that you have to decide on what it is that you want. I teach financial education. That's self-help. You have to help yourself. Most people are not willing to do it. Most people are not willing to look themselves in the mirror and say, I'm going to own my stuff financially. And this is what I'm going to do to um, to make a change. So once again, this is Lorelia. Like I said, quick video. Uh, I thought it was going to be quick, but I'm at the eight minute mark. If you are interested in any of the resources that I usually teach in these videos on how to rebuild your credit, how to get rid of debt collectors, all the information will be below. But like I said, I can't stress enough. Your relationship with money will also tie into your relationship with how you rebuild your credit. And it, it will also have um, another impact on, you know, how you see yourself. And until you can change the, the, the image that you have of yourself, the image that you have of money, you know, um, and, and not having this idea that money is scarce and that um, there's only a limited number of people who are going to have the good credit scores. Like I said, it's, it's all about self. So once again, this is Lorelia. Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.